All right. Hey. Welcome to another Woods Report. Monday, Monday. Everybody survived the eclipse. Uh, total eclipse of the heart. Now, unless none of us are saved, Jesus did not come back. We all knew that. I bet the people who probably thought that probably thinking, okay, we're knuckleheads. No, people were saying that um, some Christians should have hid to make everybody get scared on them. Oh. <laughs> make the people in your family. Oh, my God, the rapture is taking place. Yeah. yeah. Make people get scared and think that the uh, rapture sorry. is. Um, I'm get my sock on. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? Thinking that the rapture um, uh, came. No more time, I might as well Practices get make keeping. Stand, you can walk outside and get hit by a car. Stand safe. Stand, stand close to God. Right. They so worried about when Jesus is coming back. So, but um, everybody survived. We went outside to look at it. We got a partial. Yeah. Here yeah, in we Illinois, in the, yeah, the, the part we are in Illinois. Mm-hmm. If we were more southern Illinois, we would have gotten the whole thing by yep. Carbondale. Carbondale, Illinois, which is yeah. really near the low part. I saw the arch mm-hmm. from Mexico mm-hmm. all the way to the Canada, that one area oh, of I Canada. Know. I wasn't looking in. And they followed, you know how the news media, they were all in different spots. Here I'm live in te- uh, Texas, Dallas. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're live here in uh, Indianapolis. Right. So they were in every. <laughs> yeah. They was excited because we won't say say they won't see this when it gets yeah. another 800 years or something like that. Yeah. Um, and you and I were talking about the spiritual thing. About yeah, it. I was watching some people talk about how they um was like making fun of it and stuff, saying everybody making such a big deal about the eclipse. And then I wrote on Facebook because somebody was saying that. People who are making comments about it's not a big deal, I say you probably scored low in science when you Ooh. was in school. You know what? You either didn't they do went good. To sleep. <laughs> you, yeah, you probably didn't do good in science, uh, or you either are just you're not happy about nothing. You're miserable. Mm-hmm. Look at them over there eating. It could be anything. Anything anybody do, you are gonna say something, mm-hmm. or you just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So pick pick which one you want. You want one of those three categories. Which uh-uh. one? No, it's not a fourth one. <laughs> it's only three categories. Oh, wow. If you made fun of people getting excited about something that only happens, it's only happened again in 800 years, mm-hmm. and you don't see the magnificence of God in that, mm. of how, if anything, if you're a person that believes in God, you believe that that's not an, that is so designed. Mm-hmm. If one mm. thing is one millimeter or one millicenter or whatever mm. off, the whole world will blow whole up. Galaxy. If the moon stayed oh. in this spot that it went and eclipsed the sun, yeah, longer than what it was supposed to, the whole the whole um, planet, yeah, a, a go crazy. Or how close the sun? If it gets closer, we can burn up. Yeah, just things like that. Or the Earth spin off of its axle or something. And one of the ladies that I used to um, that I sang with, she was um, a science chemistry, mm-hmm. and she believes in God truly. She said, "I don't know how you can just." see science be a part of science right. chemistry the elements the gravity and energy and not believe in a power right. god so if you was the type of person that was making fun of people for um admiring that and making a big deal it's three of those cat you're in one of those categories ah, put them in you there. want them again the first one is okay. you you didn't do good in science and don't so care. it's over don't your no knowledge it's over your head, over your head. Like, ooh, thinking the world probably is flat yeah it's over your head <laughs> So you wouldn't understand it if uh-huh. somebody told you about the earth or anything. Uh-huh. Number two, you're a miserable person. Oh, if well. if people it got it, still be that in the other two as well. If if people was it was eating, you'll be making talking about. Look at them over there eating at that restaurant. You be talking. You talk about everything uh-huh. that's negative. Or three, you stupid. Well, Which one? I mean, to be honest, <laughs> I do get it where people are like, okay, I get it. This is. This is a big deal, but I, me personally, wouldn't go physically somewhere. No, I'm not going to Some sit people in a are crowd. That, like, oh, yeah. you know, wow, I got to go there. I got to drive there. I got to see that 100%, yeah. you know, eclipse itself. But And if they want to do that, that's fine. That's something I wouldn't do. Right, right. But I watched it on television, mm-hmm. and then we went outside and looked mm-hmm. um, um, up, and our neighbor came out. Mm-hmm. You know your neighbor's going to come out. You come out, mm-hmm. so. And you looking up with your glasses. And we looking up with our glasses. It was very different. It, you look. When you try to look where well, you shouldn't be looking without right, your glasses. Without the glasses. And then you put your glasses on, you can actually see that it. little 
that little yeah. pop of sun, like a moon. Yeah. Side and I, there was one I was going to post, don't be this guy. And that was the picture of Trump They've been up. using that photo I didn't, for the I longest. didn't do it. I was going to put it up, though, because he's a moron. Everybody's been using that photo. I was going to say, don't, don't, I was going to say, I was going to say, don't be this guy. <laughs> with an arrow pointing at yeah, him. Yeah, with an arrow pointing at him. <laughs> All right, so <sighs> the latest news this past weekend. NCAA Women's Championship mm-hmm. title. People thought Kaylin's team was going to win, but then they keep forgetting it's a team. Yeah. Effort, um, not one person. Emerald says, salutations, everyone. Thanks. Salutations to you, too. Okay. And Justice says, hey, everybody. Hey. hey, everybody. Now, the South Carolina beats Iowa mm-hmm. to take home the NCAA Women's Championship title. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of um, negative, um, a lot of negative posts about this. Believe it or Can not, you please share what the negative. I was? know. I truly it or not. didn't know that. But let's talk about this first. Um, it says um, South Carolina beat Iowa eighty-seven to seventy-five to win its third NCAA Women's oh, Championship. Oh my goodness! This is the third time. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it was no surprise. Yep. Wow, yeah. but what's this negative? Um, it says the um, game rocks game Cox. That's her name. To uh, Tessa Johnson, mm-hmm. I think that's the name of the team. Oh, that's their name. The game Cox. You sure? Tessa Johnson had nineteen points, and Camilla Cordorso had fifteen. Wow. As the team smothered Iowa's hope for its first championship title. Now, remember, Caitlin is on Iowa. Right. And they thought she was going to get them their first title. That's mm-hmm. what the, all the big hoopla was mm-hmm. all year. But she can't do it by herself. Exactly. It takes a team. Mm-hmm. It was the final game in the college career of Iowa Hawkeyes star Caitlin Clark, who broke Division I scoring records for both women and men. Remember, that's the white girl that scored a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, South Carolina coach Dawn Stolly was overcome with emotion and tears after the win. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now you got a video of her, don't you? Mm-hmm. I saw I that. You sent this. Let's see. It's on the shade room. So let me see what she's. I want to personally thank Caitlin Clark for lifting up our sport. Her sh- she carried a she carried a heavy load for our sport, and it just is not going to stop here on the collegiate tour. But when she is the number one pick in the WNBA draft, she's going to she's going to lift that league up as well. So so Caitlin Clark, if you're out there, you are one of the goats of our games that we appreciate you. Now, and I- let me tell you why I'm happy she did that. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Because people were all on the Internet, mostly black. You know, it's black people. What they going to say? Well, you know, black people, when Eminem went, was winning, we didn't like that. You know, black people, we don't like when white we people. We need to get off of that, that, yeah. that box. Not all black people. I'm just talking I about know, the, ones the ones that, ones that are negative. Okay. When Eminem was winning, you know, there was some black people who was trying to take away the fact that he's a good rapper because he white. Like, nah, he should have won. Yes, he should have won. He's good. The times he won, he should have won. He's a good rapper. Mm-hmm. Caitlyn is good. Yeah, she's good. She's a white girl, but she's good. She's why can't she? And she's also, just like the coach said, bringing attention yes. to, women's, to basketball. women's basketball. Nobody was as excited about this basketball tournament until they she's been lifted up. Same as Beyonce with country. Yes. And the white people who were mad about Beyonce. Yes. You may not like her, but she's bringing excitement to country music. And look at it that way. If you got I don't know why do people hate. Again, I like we talked about. I started off talking about the eclipse. Mm-hmm. You either was you either stupid, the unhappy person, unhappy person that uh-huh. talks about everybody, uh-huh. or just uneducated in the subject. Well, they stupid. That's See, part of the stupid stupidity. So that's why I'm saying it. Just I'm I don't glad know why. she said that because a lot of black people was on the internet. Yes, a lot of black people saying that why are they making such a big deal about this girl? She ain't nothing. And she lost. They were so happy that um, Iowa lost. They was rooting against Iowa because of Caitlyn. Didn't we used to years ago? I and I kid you not. When, because you know, years ago, black people, we were, we're happy to see anybody on TV. 
Right. And when we would see a uh, sport, sporting events, <clears throat> we would root for the black person because we're like, yes. Well, we still finally. Do that. Yeah. A lot of us do, but yeah. to the point where they're not negative like this. Yeah, you don't have to be negative, but I do root. But there's a game like, show. It was a guy. It was. A, I'm gonna root for the black person. Boxing match or the woman. That's why people were so happy when we had Muhammad Ali and. Joe Joe Frazier and my mom would watch, we would sit with my mom. My mom loved watching wrestling and boxing and and we were like, oh, I hope Joe, oh, I hope Joe Frazier beat him. Ooh, ooh, I hope oh, Muhammad Ali beat him. Yes, and I get it because you t- you tend to lean towards and there's nothing wrong with that. Ethnic group. If I was white and there was an Italian <laughs> Rocky, yo Adrian, <laughs> like like um Eddie Murphy like, said, uh, and he was <laughs> fighting a black guy, I'll be rooting for the Italian man. <laughs> Because I'm like, after you win, you're going to come over to the restaurant. I'm going to have some uh, uh, spaghetti and a meatball. Come over. Come to the neighborhood. For all the little Italian kids that want to grow up and be like you. I would be just like, I would be rooting Italian. Oh my God. If I was Irish. I would. He's yes. an Irish boxer in there. represents. From Ireland. That's why I'm McG- McGregor. Yeah. They love McGregor. Yes, yes. Ellie's from Ireland. Hey, once you beat it, once you knock his head off, come over for some of beer. <laughs> I'm doing Italian mixed with Irish. I know. I'm like, was that Irish? I don't know what it is. But I but get you it. root for who, if it's a woman, you're going to root for a woman. But if give, whatever it is. Give them their props give Mc- if they are good. McGregor is a good fighter. Caitlyn is a good ball player. Eminem is a good rapper. What is wrong with people? Beyonce can sing. Yes. Country. Any genre you put her away, she has to sing a phone book. Yeah. So what is wrong with people when it comes to that? I don't know. We see color so much. That's where we don't even... And that's Ooh. what that guy that went on The View, the one you was talking about with the colorblind. Yes. That's why I think that he's pushing that. Because people go so, they go to the extreme <gasps> on the other side. Yes. I'm happy when I You hear, don't root against somebody because of their color. I posted on my Facebook page, somebody, when another lady had posted, and this um, South Korean group, white, four South Korean guys, oh, singing, yeah. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you something. Look, they did riffs and runs and their harmony was like, I was like, hi. Hey. Let me tell you something. And I and it could be um and it probably it's probably prejudice what I'm saying. What? And, I'm pretty <laughs> oh, sure it no. is. You're telling people not to be. I'm pretty a lot of stuff we say is stupid or prejudice. Oh, okay, okay. Asian people, they know how to um imitate. <laughs> Why you say it like that? Like that's not true talent. No, no, it's talent, but I'm saying that they good at them. They'll imitate. Like that, what's that group? That one group? They'll like take ten of them in there. Uh, yeah, all of they them. They could dance. <laughs> and you know, people always talk about them doing martial arts and stuff. That's really imitation, because you're imitating the move. That's how they learn. They move with each other and stuff. That's not so right. my <laughs> my coworker. She so didn't my like thing that stereotype. is. It's a stereotype. She's a graphic designer, and she said people automatically think she was smart with math, math and science. And math. Did you see? Yeah, now this mad. is so funny. What? They showed people another thing. Black people laughing at. What? They showed the Olympic team that beat China um, in math after forty years or something like Who that. Who was this? American Olympic math team that finally beat China after forty some years. Oh my god! They was all Chinese. American, American, rep- <laughs> you know what? That's just wrong. <laughs> so it was all it was all eight of the guys up there was Chinese. They're Amer- they're was four Chinese four, American. Chinese American. Four Chinese Americans. Beating Chinese. Chinese. Beating four Chinese guys. <laughs> see how? And then black people said, "See, because math is not something that black people say is ours." They was like, "We'll take the win any way we can." You know what? It's so wrong because on the one end, you mad at a Caitlyn for being good in basketball. Because we say basketball is ours. And now you you okay with the Amer- American Chinese group winning in the math. Olympics representing America in playing math. against a Chinese team. Which goes back, and I know we're all over the place here, but other stuff that I said with people trying to take affirmative action out of schools and stuff. Oh, wow. I don't care if you take it out, but you're taking nepotism out too. <laughs> and all you're going to have, I said it, at how Harvard is, oh, is Asians, Asians and, and all, all of them. West Indian, Asian, South, South Asian, Asian, he's all Asian. Indian, people from India. Because <laughs> white people won't be there either. 
Me, Your kids are we'll, just as we'll dumb. They sit in. And, watch and play video games all day. We'll be sprinkled in. It'll be a few whites, a few blacks, a few, you know. But it won't be that many. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Because most of our... So I, if you're going to take affirmative action out, take yeah, nepotism out. Yeah. You don't want to do that, don't you? You don't want to take nepotism out. You know why? Because you know your white face won't be at Harvard. Because your dad bought the up wing. But you know if you take affirmative action out, brown people ain't going to be there. Yeah. That's all that is. But I was hurt when you said any negativity, they won. Okay, I could see if they lost. Oh, man, Caitlin and her team beat us. She, she, oh, she'll deserve it. No, no, they was negative. No, they negative saying that's what she get. They keep calling her the great white hope and she lost. Didn't I tell you, though? When I asked, they, they, people are talking about her career moves now. WNBA, when she gets a salary every year. Yeah. Or Ice T's team. Mm-hmm. Three. Ice three, Cube. Ice Cube. I'm sorry. Not Ice Cube. <laughs> they ice something. Ice Trey. You watch Law and Order ice. all the time. That's why you got him on your oh, head. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Ice T. Ice mm-hmm. Cube. They're asking her to be a part of that league. And black people already on the news are dogging her out. See? She ain't that good. We got to say, we gotta say some black people, I guess. Some, not all. So for Ice Cube to come at her and say, we offering you, I'm a, I think it was $5 million That's or what I'm trying to tell you. So she can weigh her options. Because I told my sister, if she does the WNBA, she'll be the first draft pick. She'll do the WNBA. And she'll probably get, um, what do you call it when they get, of endorsements, endorsements that can get her up to the millions. Yeah. But people are dogging her out for even being asked. Yeah. So that coach is right. She has cared a lot. That's a what load. I'm saying. And that's why I'm glad she said that. Yes. A black coach. Yes. Thank yes. You. So I like that. Thank so you. So leave coach. Caitlin alone. Yes. Let leave, her leave Taylor Swift alone. Yeah. Leave Beyonce alone. All of them. All of them. They doing their thing. Angel. They, what's the girl? Reese. The black girl. Angel Reese. Angel Reese. Leave her alone. Bothering her. Somebody was saying, well, if you woofing, woofing all on the court, that's you shouldn't be all sensitive when it comes back to you. Yeah. I get it. You can do that's talking on that's the trash yeah, talking. That's just talking. Y'all on the floor, yeah. Yeah, we'll see when you will get She's back. She's not going in. up to the restaurant, the girl eating a hamburger and doing that. Thank you. Gosh. Now okay. if you want want to talk about somebody <laughs> oh. <laughs> our next person oh lord there you go there <laughs> well, Jonathan Majors well good news for him what you say actor Jonathan Majors avoids jail time for assaulting his ex-girlfriend we can't say allegedly anymore because he was found guilty he was found innocent now well, innocent, most people right? who get no guilty he was found guilty yes but he yeah. has to do he didn't have to go to jail community yeah. service thing. Okay. now most women who get assaulted don't chase the guy like batman around i know the Come down the street. where you going hit me hit me some more where you going yeah they don't do all of that okay they usually so when i was doing this it was shaking yeah you don't see it this floors yeah dang i'm shaking the, the commute thing just doing this even okay. if we was on concrete, you'll still I'll be shaking. Yeah. People can crack on me. That about was an that. easy joke. That was low hanging fruit joke. Yes. Okay. But yeah, that I'm not saying he didn't assault her, but she's a, a moron. Yeah, she did chase him. He was trying to get away. If I'm trying to get away from you and you chasing me down, sorry. Yeah. If I was a jury, I would have said he's innocent. Yeah. But again, you you know it is what it is. Mm-hmm. You found guilty. Which he probably, you know, he probably smacked her around a couple of times. Yeah, we don't know. He may have shook her real hard. Like Chris if Rock she's said. stupid, the way she looks, I could see him shaking the hell out of her. Yeah, like Chris you Rock said. Up. Yeah, would you be quiet? Leave me alone. Or is she trying to come in the room and he leave, leave me a pick her up and body slam her and throw her up and yeah. get out of here? I mean, it's not right. But <clears> it's <throat> right. Okay. He should have not been in a relationship in the first place. Well, I told you, I said a lot of times in relationships, a woman can go. He hit me. He beat me. He did this. Thank you. And they will believe it. Thank you. No, especially when it's an interracial couple. Thank you. So I'm like, and you oh. a big black man too. Yeah. He <laughs> hit me. He hurt my wrist. Look, I'm broke. Exactly. Ooh, ooh. So it says, actor Jonathan Majors has been ordered to complete a year long counseling program, but avoided jail time Monday for assaulting his ex girlfriend in a high profile case that derailed the once promising star's career. Wow. He was in. He was in everybody everything. dropped him though. They did drop. I him. know, but he was going to be in everything. Disney dropped him and endorsement. Thirty-four year old, and he's still young. So I guess thirty-four is still he young. Can come back. 
Creed 3 and other films have faced up to a year behind bars after he was convicted to misdemeanor assault by a Manhattan jury in December. So this was his sentencing. He he was convicted, and then we was waiting to see what he was going to be convic- uh, sentenced to. Okay. In court Monday, Judge Michael Gaffey sent his major majors to conditional discharge after n- noting that both sides in the case agreed the charges did not warrant jail time. So even He's the prosecutor, the yeah, even the prosecutor was saying we're not trying to put him in jail, mm-hmm. given the actor was a first time offender mm-hmm. with no prior criminal record. Okay. Okay. I also feel like with what's going on now with Trump and everything, even though uh, people that say, "Well, you guys always get a, get a, get behind the worst people," black people would have been, we would have been yelling foul play mm-hmm. when that orange thing gets off on everything, mm-hmm. and then you lock up Jonathan Mays doing the same thing or similar. No, just. Not the same thing, but just something that he hasn't been in trouble with before. Well, there's things that Whoopi was yeah. saying on The View, we do less of and get exactly. put away and under the jail. But it's so high profile that I think people would have said something mm. if they would have sent him to jail for that. And you got um, uh, Orange over, Nixon. Just yeah. off willy-nilly. Now, he, he said majors must complete a 52-week in-person batterers intervention program in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. 52 weeks. He's probably still with Megan, too, huh? Where the actor lives. I still think that that's not a real relationship. You don't but think? Nah, we don't know. I'm guessing. We'll see. He also has to continue with the mental health therapy his lawyers say he's been participating in. Majors faces a year in jail if found in violation, which also included a no contact order with his former girlfriend, Grace Jobbery. He ain't going to be in contact with her. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Um, it said he came there. His girlfriend came with him, Megan Good. They didn't say anything to the reporters. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder how it. long will they have, he have to, aside from this time frame, how long you think it would be for him to get back into movies with them accepting him? He's going to start off on Tyler Perry movies. You're saying that like it's uh, being a, a low level of... Uh, that's not right. Because there's some Tyler Perry No, no. It's, it, he'll, it'll no, be, no. All, family that prays. I know. but That's my favorite. And the good thing about it is he's a good actor. So Tyler can get him for cheap now. Where he And before, he would have never even looked. <laughs> if Tyler Perry had came to him when he was Kane oh, the Conqueror and all God, that. He would have to pay him a lot. That's true. I didn't think about that. But now that he's this... He could literally start a career doing like a Tyler Perry And role. hopefully, because he's a good actor, all the other actors that are not so good. Well, Tyler would have to do that. He they would, would have to they put would, them They would feed off of his No, no, energy. he would have to. No, no, I'm saying as far as getting better. No, no. Tyler would have to book people that's good, not feed off his energy. No, what do you mean book people other than him? It'll be Jonathan Majors. Taraji P. Henson, because oh, you're saying those levels. All yeah. the people that black that's blacklisted or there are better, still better actresses. It'll be Taraji. It, watch, mark my words. Okay. It'll be a Tyler Perry movie. Put him in those shows he have now, where the actors are like, yeah, yeah okay. it'll be a Tyler Perry movie, or maybe not a Tyler Perry movie, but just a movie mm-hmm. with him, Taraji P. Henson, uh, maybe Monique. <laughs> It'll be all the black actors that that Hollywood, no and they're good. So it'll be a good movie. <laughs> but no, the, uh, actors, they were black ball. They talk. And when much. they put it out, they got in trouble. They're gonna tell all of us go from, uh, go see it and and let people know that we make money in the box office, and we'll go see it too. Okay. So we'll see. And then they'll get nominated so for NAACP. Yeah, Image Awards. <laughs> Image Awards. <laughs> come on home. That's what black people are going to say. Come yeah. home. We love you. You got you, kicked you out still, by the industry, but we love you. You're still invited to the barbecue. That's what um, Candace Owens wanted. Mm-hmm. And you're not getting that, Candace. Mm-hmm. She was never invited to the barbecue. But she thinking she was able to come. come Cause she has Con- she's friends with Kanye. No, because she's black. Oh, no. no, no, we don't let everybody no. in the barbecue. No. Just because they're color. So although I don't agree with a lot of stuff Roland Martin says, because he's a, a strong he Democrat. What did he say? I'm agreeing with him on this. She'll never be at the... If, if, oh. if there got to be an arm, arm lot of people, uh-huh. 
uh-huh. at the barbecue door. Not letting her in. She's not coming in. <laughs> even if the person who uh, at the barbecue invited Grandma her. Grandma would even be a little concerned. She said, yeah. baby, you got to change your ways. Yeah. You can't come in here acting like that. Yeah. Um, Justin says he got convicted based on his own text messages. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Tyler Perry can educate him on why he should stop reference, um, referencing. Oh yeah. Coretta. Coretta. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Every woman he's dated is on that level. You know, I went to Starbucks and, um, uh, this lady, she was so kind. She reminds oh, me yeah, of Coretta Scott, Scott King. King. <laughs> Peeves said so many times, his fa- the family had to say something. Look, Negro, <laughs> you better shut up. I was in the deli us. the other day, and this lady, she Major. said, Jonathan Majors, I'm behind, I'm with you. She gave me an extra pickle, and she put an extra slab of uh, roast beef. <laughs> she reminds me of the rest of the We'll and then Coretta Scott King's daughter said, look here. Look at him. Quit saying everybody is my him. mom. You bring the value of my mother down yes. every time you do that. Yeah, you lowering it. The standards and everything she stood for. Man, he on. said it so much when he called Megan. They camera went over to Megan and she just was like, what's wrong with Don't you? call me Coretta Scott King. Dude, have you read a daughter? Do you know who she is? Gosh. So yeah. you're right, Justice. She had to hold her head down. Tyler Perry. You know what? Tyler Perry should do a movie about Coretta Scott King. And what he played. And what? he played Martin Luther King. Oh, Lord. He'll learn something in that movie. How about that, y'all? He plays Martin Luther King. Taraji P. Henson plays Coretta Scott King. It may not be Taraji. Well, she got black. You got to get people that's been kicked out. Oh. You that he's he can't get them cheap. Yeah, but he may have made it. He's got to be good at. Oh, she'll be in there, but she won't be Coretta Scott King. Mm-hmm. Hmm. She could be um. What's the one that sat on the the bus? <laughs> you know what, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. <laughs> Megan Megan Good could be Rosa Parks. Okay. <laughs> and one of the lines in the movie, he come. He they're talking, and he talks him as Martin Luther King talks to Megan. Uh, Rosa Parks, mm-hmm. and he said, "You know, you're a wonderful woman. You remind yeah, me of my, my wife." wife. <laughs> Scott King. Everybody in the theater laughed. He on themselves laughing because we'll know where that line came yeah, from. That's an inside joke. <laughs> um, Justin okay. says, "Yes, I would watch that." Okay. See, he could play Martin Luther King. We'll see. He's a good actor. He is a good actor. So, it's, I mean, I'll, let's see how much time they'll give him before he's back into the arena. So. Okay. You know who I'm going to next. <laughs> this is our fraternity, bro. Quit telling everybody that. I'm just sad to say, but. And how do you know he's still, um, a lot of times you'll say that and they don't claim them. He's claimed it. He's No, now. You don't I know if they. anything that has not claimed them. So. You don't know. We know of one that they are not claiming too much. I just know you and need to. I don't want to say his name. Right, but quit doing that because we might get some calls from some brothers say that we don't claim him. Well, then they quit need to doing let that. us know then. Let's get some calls. What's the national say? But go ahead. <laughs> when I saw this image, I was pulling an image to prepare for our um, profile picture, you know, to, to promote the show. And I saw this uh, picture of him and I said, Oh my, he must be in, he must be preparing for a movie. You know how they prepare for movies? Their hair has to change and they got to get into that character. Whoopi said she had to gain weight for uh, Emmett Till's mother to play that. And then there was another Star Trek or whatever she was in where her hair had to be go uh, blonde, white. So she's preparing for a role. I was like, pray tell. I know he's preparing for another no. uh, pimp or what's the other movie he was in? It's hard I hit for a pimp or. Because that, that hairstyle right there. Now, you know that he's having tax issues, right? Oh, Lord. Um, he's saying, well, according to this, they say, Ter- this is on the shade room. Terrence Howard talks about his lawsuit against CAA, claims his agents were incentivized to keep his pay low. So let's see this video of him talking about someone. It's on um the shade room. That's a lot of money. That should have been. Well, let's t- let's go to another one. I'm just saying. CAA, Creative Artists Agency, they represented me. Mm-hmm. They also represented some of the people from Big Bang Theory. Mm-hmm. They also. 
did the deal with Fox. Mm -hmm. My show was with Fox. The people from Big Bang was with Fox. Mm -hmm. We had 28 million viewers. They had 11 million viewers. Yeah. They were getting $2 million, damn near $3 million an episode, those white kids. They had no name recognition, no Oscar nominations, none of that. We have 28 million viewers, and these these jokers are paying me um, $325,000 an episode. And I'm like, every year, every year I'm asking my agents, what's going on, what's going on? I didn't know that the packaging deal, my agents were incentivized to keep my pay low so they never so they'll go to fox and say no and they'll say no themselves because they were producers they owe me over 120 million dollars based on caa that's a lot of money that should okay did you hear anything he said what do you mean do you know how this whole thing what's going on it sounds like another monique situation but what Taraji, they owe me money they we're not getting paid as much as the other group if he didn't have that hairstyle, oh, you would have listened to him more, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's what people are talking about. Oh my gosh! Now I, you I, know I heard what he said. I just I'm why looking. would you get on? I'm telling you, I thought he was preparing for another movie. That's the only thing I can think of. Like he's gonna be in another movie where his hair has Look to be like this. that, pimp down. They clowning him. That's a chihuahua. Ooh. Oh, that was <laughs> him. They they <laughs> I'm gonna read some of the stuff people said. <laughs> now he could have a legitimate a legitimate claim, right? <laughs> Nobody's talking about that in the in the comment section. <laughs> Every comment Nobody's, is about his hair. How can you take him serious when he's dressed like that? Somebody said now shade room. You knew the real reason why you posted this video. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody said he's sitting up there looking like Ike Turner. <laughs> I know. I was like, what the? You know, it's hard out here for Somebody him. said he obviously does not want his message to be taken Thank serious. Thank you. Somebody said I listened for three seconds, and then I went right to the comments. turned section. off with that hairstyle. <laughs> Somebody said, why would he have this conversation with that wig sitting on the top of his head? How are you supposed to take him serious? Is that a wig? Now, somebody said what you said. The journalist is on set of his new film in production featuring a host of A-list actors. Fight, fight. That's the movie. That's what that's saying. what I. That's the only thing I can. Think well, of. then I feel you should say that. Oh my God! We're here. Then that's her fault. We're here <laughs> on set with Terrence Howard. His, <laughs> his new movie, Fight Fight. Terrence, I'm happy you took time out of filming. I see you still are in makeup to come and talk to us Why about this serious matter. She set that man up to get talked about. <laughs> Nobody's even listening to what he's saying. They all talking about his hairstyle. <laughs> Don't they say that? Yes. When they go, they say, we're on set. Yes. We're here on set. Yes. We're here on Aliens. Yes. Uh, Thank you for on. taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you were trying to this film is this is another film you're you in. You didn't even have time to take your makeup off. So th we are, we appreciate you sitting down with us and having this We're conversation. We're excited that you got another film coming out. My goodness, can you tell us a little bit about it? I know you probably can't say nothing. At least give us an intro for why he's sitting there with that hair. Oh my God. Somebody said his hair is like he getting ready to use his pimp hand on her. <laughs> um, I'm like a slap. Somebody says so. She's not gonna discuss his luxurious blowout. <laughs> she didn't say nothing. Oh my god. Oh my. Somebody goodness. said this is Jolene, who Beyonce was singing about. <laughs> you know what? These people in these comments. <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> the social media is sending us straight to hell. Oh my god! You never saw some people was so funny, oh. and until you go to the comment section, yes, you'll be like, "Oh my god, you are comedians!" And they people so say funny. stuff that I don't even think of. 
calling oh, him Jolene. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Oh, why did I knew when I saw him? I said, Kim, please tell me he is uh it it uh in a role that he's in a movie, and that's where his hair is going to be. They say his his wig got more bounce than New Orleans <laughs> history. <laughs> Somebody said that wig is wicked, but at least he's getting this message out. No, he's not. That wig is because I asked you if you figured out what he was talking about. All you looked at was his hair. He said that wig is wicked. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! And he don't even want to say nothing. He could say something too. Let's just say for sake of argument. If she don't say she something, it. he should say something. He should say, you know what? I'm glad I took time out of. I'm making a movie right now. Because I know how y'all are out there in social media. Mm -hmm. I'm making a movie. It's not my hair. Right. I'm playing a part. And the part it needs this wig on or hair or whatever. He ain't say nothing. He went right into, they paid me that much. They paid the other group that much. They got now, more Now, this followers. is what this person is actually talking about what he said. Okay. I believe every word of what he said. Unfortunately, it's a shame. You hire an agency to represent you in your best interest, but they're really working against you and for the larger production company. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's all about the kickbacks. The agency is winning on both sides. Mm. So they really don't care about the individual. Right. Double dipping is what it's known to be. Bad business practices and backdoor deals. You know what this is? Remember training um um spaces mm -hmm. or places with uh, Eddie it? Murphy and um the company was into uh stocks and they took people's money mm -hmm. on both sides. It's mm -hmm. like a hustler. Mm -hmm. It's a two-bit hustler. It's like a um the guy who takes the bets on the street. Mm -hmm. He don't care whether you voting for uh you, you know whoever the whatever, whatever horse or whatever. Laker mm -hmm. Lakers the win mm -hmm. or whatever team. or uh -huh. whatever team. Mm -hmm. He's taking bets on both sides. The when they lose, they pay you off. When you lose, you pay them off. Mm -hmm. And then he makes the money from the fees. Mm -hmm. Doing the bets for them. Doing the bets for you. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a old that's a scheme that's been ran on the street. Mm. Everybody knows that a bookie. Mm -hmm. That's all these agencies so are. They two big bookies. So how's this tying into what he's saying? Because he's saying they booking me. They 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 book me. They my agency. Yeah, and they also book somebody who's a co competitor or whatever, uh -huh. and they give them more. Um, he's naming. He was naming right, the, right, the right. whatever, uh -huh. and then they figure it figure it out where if. Because you can get them for this amount, mm -hmm. I'll take a little bit off if you give maybe him a little less. Terrence. Mm -hmm. So either way, they make money. They're going to make money off of they him and they're going to make money off of the other people. Mm -hmm. But they got to figure out which one is more valuable to them. And it's, it's, it's also stemming off of what Erica Alexander said. Yes. She hit it right on the nail when she said, like they, we talked about A, I think we mentioned this too to Wendy the other day. A category, B category, C category. She said there's a category of actors where they can get anybody. Yeah. Any black woman. Yeah. It don't matter. She don't have to be a high uh uh, uh Angela yeah. Bassett, mm -hmm. but, but at that level of Denzel, are we willing to invest in Denzel being exactly. in that picture? We're gonna make more money on him. Exactly. So yeah, Denzel's gonna get more money than a C list yes. or whatever. And if I'm negotiating, I can have Terrence Howard and Denzel. But I might negotiate with the studio or something and say, well, I'll throw Terrence in there for this mm -hmm. and you can get Denzel. Now, the sad thing about it is kind of like at my job. I remember working at my company and all of us who had the same roles and positions. We had the designers, the account execs and whatever. And you had different levels. They didn't. They always told us, don't discuss your salary with other coworkers because yep. you may find out we're doing the same job. But she's getting more, more than money. I am. Or yep. he's getting more. Yep. Maybe I'm not getting as much because I'm a female. Yep, you don't I'm know. Black. I mean, I, may I, rather, I mean, we don't know the reasons behind And you it. don't know what other incentives. Yeah, because he's finding out that that group, that other... That's why he's saying ...got that. more money than they did. Yes. Now, that's why nobody was listening. They were all looking at his hair. Yeah, which should have been mentioned before we started talking to them. And, and the, 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 the interviewer or him, I looked at him and knew he was playing. He was preparing for a role. I knew that right away. You I figured said, it out. He don't wear his hair like that. <laughs> Y'all know Terrence. He is preparing for a movie. But why they didn't say that? 
Terrence, what movie you got going out now? We're excited. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The fact that we, this is the part that's a problem with Terrence. I wouldn't have sworn on that. Really? Terrence is out there sometimes. Not like that, though. No. If Terrence Howard walked in with that wig on. Yeah. And Denzel Washington walked in with that wig on, I would swear up and down Denzel is in a robe. More so than Terrence. Than Terrence. Oh. I wouldn't bet my life that if they said, bullet to your head, which one of them is prepared for a role? You would think Terrence and his his behavior <clears throat> and his character. And I could be wrong. Because Denzel could be wearing his hair like that. But I'm willing to risk it we all. We would bank our check that Denzel is in a role. If he was getting ready for a role where he had to wear that wig. But you could believe Terrence Howard would do that. I mean, you got a point. I don't. I'm, I'm thinking it's more like the character in Best Man. Best Man, he'll come out with a wig on in his in his pajamas, trying to get somebody set, you know. But I just, for some reason, I didn't think he was this this out there, you know, like a Kanye wearing some right. mask over his face. Kanye. That's what I'm saying. Kanye if Kanye came crazy. out with a wig on like that, I would think he that was real. Yeah. So he ain't preparing for nothing. No. Did you see that? <laughs> Uh-oh. With Kanye? Oh, no. Let me see if I can show this. His wife. You oh, know what she, she had on? on? Did you see it? That big coat? No, I saw her coming in. With, she was covering her front ear. No, no, that's old. Oh, that's old? This is today. Kanye. I wonder if he tells her to wear clothes like this. She can't possibly just wake up and say, I'm going to wear this. Babe, why don't you? Because he used to dress some um, Kim, right? Yeah, but she didn't wear stuff like this. I know, but... There was stuff she didn't wear before she met him, too. Do they even have it on here? here it's it probably is. too rich. Here it is. Blow that up. Make it where you can see her legs, though. Look at that. I thought it was the other outfit where they said you can see she looked like she was uncomfortable because it was it was actually see through and she was. Oh, yeah. Herself. She do that all the time. That too. one. But so, I ain't never seen her wear this big old coat. Yeah, he must be telling her to because he wears masks over his face <laughs> and weird <laughs> shoes that got socks with shoes. <laughs> Look at that coat. This woman. I don't know if it's a mixture between him saying, hey, baby. Why don't you wear this? Okay. I like that too. I don't know. So if she came out with that coat on and he came out with that wig that Terrence Howard had on, we would you would just yeah. think that's a normal yeah. fashion thing. Yeah, we just thought we would think nothing of it. We would just think he he may not he may be on a crazy, you know, path right now. But yeah, I really figured Terrence, for some reason, I took a gamble and I saw that picture. I said, I'm not should I use this photo? Because this is something he must be playing a role, practicing a role for. I thought it was part two of Hard Out Here for a Pimp. Because that's a pimp daddy style for real. That's Cat William. Pimp down. Um, pimp down. Wendy says, hey, ladies. Hey, Wendy. Justice for All says, is he trying to go to a woman's prison? That's so disturbing. I don't know what the role is, though, but we're we going to find out. Ammo says, I was going to say that too, Kim. I just couldn't concentrate on the word, on any word he was saying. Yeah. I think the, the I thought the um, interviewer. And Wendy says he looks like Cat Williams. I fought the interviewer. She didn't, she didn't, she, she didn't set him up she right. Didn't, she didn't set it up right. You, she set him up to fail. You knew people was going to come at him hard. And didn't care what he said. And then too, Kim, even if he was with this normal hair and all that, I see if what he's saying, but I can't do nothing about that. No, he's suing him. He's saying why. She's oh, asking him about that. See, him. nobody listened to what he was saying. I totally missed that because it went over his his yeah, hair. His hair. <laughs> he's suing. He's suing. Yeah, she said that's a lot of money. I did hear her say that. Okay. All right, so Terrence, hopefully he wins. If, if they right did there, that, Terrence. hopefully they, you know, let us know, dude, that you're wearing that hair for a reason. Yeah, that was clean bad, it though. up, clean it up. Well, Dalton Mayor, she's back in back ten. in the news, but this is brief because yeah. um, Mayor Tiffany Manor, Man, Henner, um, Tiffany Henyard. Henyard. Dalton asked the Dalton City. 
mm-hmm. as ex Chicago mayor mm-hmm. Lori Lightfoot mm-hmm. to investigate dictator. They, they call her dictator mm-hmm. Tiffany Henyard. Yes, because you know Lori, and they paying Lori four hundred dollars an hour. Lori was the former mayor of Chicago. And she's also a prosecutor. I like Lori Lightfoot. I do too. I, I don't know she why they got a rid second of her. Term. People said no, she, she didn't run again, though, right? She she decided not to yeah. run. Yeah. She at first she did run, and I think she got yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I had friends from the Chicago area said that a lot of Chicagoans didn't like her, so they didn't choose why her. Why they didn't again. like her though? I have no idea. She is a little rough around the edges, but that's what they need. And I think they when I heard this on the news, I was like, wow, former Chicago Mayor Lori is going to. Um, do the invest help with the investigative team, yeah, to uh investigate this Dalton mayor Tiffany improve or remove. I've been praying for you, girl. Somebody improve said, or remove is she the best they can find? The village of Dalton, Illinois, is considering hiring former Chicago mayor Lori Lightfoot to investigate its on own scandal written leader, dictator Tiffany Henyer, as residents demand her resignation. Lightfoot, who lost her re election bid in a landslide last year, Mm -hmm. would be tasked with probing numerous allegations against self-proclaimed super mayor. Now, I feel like, well, including uh, misusing taxpayer funds for lavish trips, um, SA assault, accusations, um, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think she'd be great. You know why? Mm -hmm. She was a mayor. She used to be a mayor. So she knows exactly what that lady's job is. She was a mayor of a very big city. So she knows what that mayor is supposed to do and what that mayor is not supposed to do. checks and balances of that position. She also, when she was mayor in Chicago, she didn't like corruption. No. She didn't like people using money to do things that they're not supposed to. And she came in and said, I'm going to clean up the city and this and that. So... I she I think she worth the money. Mm-hmm. She's part of a team. She's not by herself, but I think she's worth it too. And you're gonna get some haters. It don't matter. Oh, they don't like it. No, no, it's it's back, back, it's pros and cons. You said she's a fe- former federal prosecutor. She was a formal federal prosecutor. Mm-hmm. I hope she does a deep dive from a non biased standpoint. Henry's former chief of staff, Nikita Cloud, told the Post Friday. You mean non biased? Well, remember I told you she don't like corruption. So if she comes in thinking that this woman is guilty. She's not gonna. She's gonna come in already um, with her she should glasses do like, on, saying like you're La- guilty. Here's the thing, Lucretia in New York. Who is Lucretia? Is that her name, La- Letitia? <laughs> I thought it was Lucretia. Letitia. She people can honestly say you said Lucretia. I thought it was Letitia, right? Yeah, I think. Well, so. you know what I'm getting ready to say. Because everybody feels in their heart, allegedly, that comb over is guilty too. He, you know, he calls her chickaboo. Okay. You know that's jigaboo. Yeah, he's trying to be funny. That white guy that's the Democrat that got in trouble for saying jigaboo. Yes. And the Democrats didn't even like it and don't want to support him. Trump is still saying jigaboo. He's just saying it. He's just saying chickaboo. See, that's why I said he's, he's calling her a chick. He knows how to boo. say the same stuff that everybody else says. He'll put a letter or a word or something different, mm-hmm. and he'll keep saying. Because what do you get a boo from if you just say chick? Yeah, what's a chickaboo? We know what a jigaboo is. Why are they not calling him on the carpet for calling her the word boo? Thank you. I don't care what kind of boo it is. Mega boo, kookaboo, changaboo, ningaboo. <laughs> Anything with boo on the end Thank you. is racial. Thank you. But nobody said anything, have they? You know why they don't say anything? Why? Because they're so used to him. Don't nobody want that in the White House. That's another thing. Who wants a president who calls a black woman a chick of Names. He'll call everybody and their mama names. That was one of the things I brought up the other day. They were saying on the news the other day about his involvement with um, the Israel, uh, Israel's leader. And they're saying, um, in their opinion, this is their opinion, allegedly, uh, as far as his, how, what, how would he have treated this situation with Israel and what they're doing? A lot of people don't like the Israel leader. They saying it ain't, that's not important to him. What's important to him is that, that the Israel leader, he mad at the Israel leader for, not, for saying congratulations to Biden. to Biden. And that's what the guy on the news thing said. If it's personal with him, 
that's when he don't like you. He can care less about them. He don't even talk about none of people. that. He don't talk about Gaza. He don't Gaza. talk about Gaza and stuff. Why did you congratulate Biden? Think he mad now. So I'm thinking, this is a leader that people are voting in the office. Did he step on your shoe? He talked about my wife. He said something about my hair. But dude. And the reason why I'm bringing up Trump is because people I say called Tiffany, <clears throat> their, that mayor, a little mini Trump. Yeah. She's, she runs Dalton like a dictator. She's a, also a um, township supervisor as well. And if you don't, if she don't like you, yeah, all hell will break loose. Yeah, she'll make it hard for you. She made it hard for some of the businesses to not get their uh, liquor license. So they she saying lose their they hope license. that Lori Lightfoot, because you know she don't like that. Come clean house. That, but they hoping she don't come in. No, this is supposed to be investigation. Come clean house. They don't want her to come in with those glasses on of saying, but if she is... sees something, she's going to say it. Yeah. I like her about that. I see what you're saying. She needs to still be a bipartisan. Is she able is. to be non, non? And I think she can be. I think she can be. She's shown that as a mayor in Chicago. She's just rough. It says the heart of her scandals, however, center around a tax funded economic development trip to Las Vegas. The State Department of Human Rights launched a probe into two complaints filed against Dalton Mayor, um, which a former assistant claims she was S.A. by an unnamed trustee while mm -hmm. in Vegas. Henyard allegedly tried to silence the victim mm -hmm. and a Dalton police officer who knew about the incident. Yes. U.S. Um, us figuring out what happened in Vegas, extremely important for the residents. Dalton board trustee member Brittany Norwood told the Post. So, I don't know. Yeah, are they, they going to bring in... Some of our trustees has got dirty hands. Are they going to bring in Lori Lightfoot? I hope so. We'll see where this goes. Because they talked about it a, a week ago. Again, I, didn't, I we don't live in the city of Chicago. I liked Lori Lightfoot. I don't know why they didn't. I think the um, police didn't like her because she was really hard on them, mm -hmm. which she should have been. Mm -hmm. And the council didn't like her, which she was hard on them, which she should have been. <laughs> this one, I think. Anytime there's a mayor, just like uh, Mayor Washington, mm -hmm. that is hard on these people, mm -hmm. they drive them out of office mm -hmm. or they kill him. Mm -hmm. he, had he had a heart attack at his desk. Yeah. He was a good mayor too. He put a lot of And stuff then in Daly place. came in and took all the credit for all the stuff mm -hmm. that Mayor Washington had already put into play. Is this the father? This is the son Daly. The son Daly. Yeah. They were saying the father Daly. Oh, he was ooh. Both Daly's were in mayor. That father Daly didn't you didn't hear about a lot of uh a gang a gang violence. Well, because he, he would he must have did some No, stuff no, undercover. they said he would take gang members. Yeah. The police. He would have them pick up them. And drop them off in the opposing gang members um, territory. Yeah, he did do that. And also, back in those days, they were saying they was dropping guns and all kind of stuff in the neighborhood. Yeah. So it, it was it was it was crooked. It was okay. But that's how they ran it. The mob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think Lori Lightfoot tried to come in and clean all that up, and it, it didn't work. She did what she. They did. don't like that. But I'm okay. I'm hoping that they move forward with her being a part of this investigative team because of her past as being a mayor because and because past. of her being a federal prosecutor. She she's, should be good She's very that. knowledgeable. And I'm thinking she'll give... The thing is, yes, she can go in there because Tiffany has supposedly, allegedly done a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So anybody going in there is going to say that. Yeah, I am just need to investigate to see if it's true. And she will do that. Um, Justice Frost says they could get the state attorney general's office to do the investigation for free. That's true. But our state's attorney. I don't want uh, the state. Was that be the city of the, the No, the state of Illinois. Oh, well, that's, what's his name? Who? Isn't that, um, what, Kwame? Is Kwame the Kwame state? is the state's attorney. He'll, he'll, he'll be good too. He'll be Illinois. fair. He's a friend, a friend of mine, a high school buddy of mine. That's her cousin. Let's see if that's Kwame. Yeah, that's Kwame. It's Kwame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kwame. So they'll do it for free? Kwame will jump all But in you know there. what? I get the free. Let him in there too. But because Mayor Lightfoot used to be a mayor. That's why they, yeah. She knows what a mayor's job is. Cost, Kwame would have to find out, But what Justice is saying is you won't have to pay for him. Gosh. 
who gonna pay? The state of Illinois, we ain't got no money anyway, so I don't know who gonna pay. All right. A private investor can pay. Yeah. If they really um, want her out of there. Katelia <laughs> says, Hi ladies and mama. I'm yeah. super late today. Hey Katelia. Hey. You could watch but the show back. Yeah. But that's nice to know. Thank you for that update. I didn't know that. All right. So that's her. Let's see what's gonna happen with that. Yep. All right, briefly, I'll talk about Trump, y'all. I know y'all don't like Trump. We're basically just going to show what he said. Uh, well, I'm going to say what Mike Pence said. Oh, what did Mike say? Well, y'all know what's going on with the the whole thing with... Um, Abortion. The Republicans... Well, okay, first of all, let's go back. Mm -hmm. It used to be the, the line was drawn down the sand, down the, straight down the line. If you were Democrat... You were, don't overturn Roe versus Wade. Don't touch anything with a woman's rights. Mm -hmm. And that's productive rights. People keep saying it's abortion, but it's, it's all, all, all IVF, health, everything. Health related. Anything reproductive. Mm -hmm. We think of babies right away. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Republican, we would always say Republicans are pro-life. Mm -hmm. And there was a few of them that said with exceptions. With exceptions. And you but, challenged people and said... That's not true. Then if y'all go back and look at our old videos, I made a comment and I still hold true to this. Mm -hmm. There is no middle ground. You are either pro-life or you are pro-choice. That's it. And I don't even like saying pro-life because if you pro-choice, it doesn't mean you're against life. Mm -hmm. yep. But for the sake of the argument, I'll stick with the two sides. Okay. Pro-life, pro-choice. Okay. A woman has the right. It doesn't mean you necessarily don't believe abortion is not murder. Exactly. You just saying she Let has the make right. That decision. And then there's some people who say it's not a baby anyway. It's not a viable, in, you know, um, fetus. Mm -hmm. So they believe that it's not, you're not even talking about taking a human life. There's people that's pro-choice on that side. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that's pro-life, period. No matter what. No exceptions. It's between God. If God want to take the baby, he'll take it. No matter what happened to that woman or that young girl. Doesn't matter. The, God, why did this? Why, 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 why? If you. And they'll give a bunch of examples of women who were the R word. Yeah. Who violated. had their child. My best friend, her mom was the R word. She's, she's a, yeah. One of my of friends in violated. college. Yeah. Well, but yeah. her mom did. Her mom decided to carry. One of my friends her in mom college, was violated. Her mom was the R word. Mm -hmm. And she had her. And she had her. She decided to have her. But that's fine. That's her decision too. Exactly. Back to the, that's what I'm saying. It was her decision. But I get the pro-lifers. Yeah. They don't want, that exception is not now, even necessary. Trump ran on that. Yes, he did. And, and put, evangelicals backed him for that. Putting two supreme justice in there he said i three i think so i'll three, put them okay. in there mm -hmm. and they'll overturn my goal is to overturn roe versus wade mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. it was not for each state to make a decision right the, beginning. the supreme court said that at first his objection was to overturn roe versus, versus wade, wade. Mm -hmm. national a national ban mm -hmm. on abortion. Yes. That's what he ran on. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court took it and said, we won't do a national ban. Mm -hmm. We'll let each state make their own decision. Mm -hmm. Each state having its own governor to do, make the decision. Now, what this bonehead has done, <laughs> and I don't understand, again, mega people make excuses for him all oh, the time. Oh, they do. My goodness. Is they said... Oh, well, he changed his mind. Now he's not, you know, for a national ban. Yeah. He's going with what the Supreme Court said. Mm -hmm. Let each state make that decision. Yeah. yeah. That's not what he ran on. Thank you. He's changing his tune. Doo -doo -doo. And the reason why he's changing his tune is because all these Republicans in these states are losing mm. in the House because of that. Yeah. Because the place that they thought the bible belt would be straight across pro-life yeah and they're finding out more people believe in exceptions thank you they don't want it straight across like you're saying it should be if thank they're pro-lifers or they don't even look at the abortion part they got hit with the ivf Ooh, in alabama and stuff that took a turn right there because a lot of these women was like oh that has something to do with roe versus wade Yes. 
Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Because now you're saying that that um, fetus and that tube mm -hmm. is a human being. Yes. So if I drop it yes. or something happens, God forbid. Mm -hmm. is the doctor going to be sued? Is the nurse going to be sued? Could be. So now they're saying, and then when the doctor starts saying, well, we're going to close these down. We're not doing we're not them in Alabama. We're not doing, we're not doing any IVFs in Georgia. No. Then all of a sudden... The Republican women in these states said, hold on for a minute. My eggs and my, my they're, they're uh, waiting for me to have a kid. So then Comb Over comes out and says, I think it should be each state. Let's hear him on the thing. Oh, that's all oh, you have a he thing. He says it. Okay, mm -hmm. let's hear. Who released a video where he claimed he was going to give his stance on abortion rights in America. Take a look. I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and, in fact, demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both and whatever they decide must be the law of the land. Like Ronald Reagan, I am strongly in favor of exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. Always go by your heart, but we must win. Yeah. Okay. You even said, he's not even saying there, he's leaving it all to the, to the states. Exactly. He's saying exceptions. Thank you. And the knucklehead said up to ni over nine months. Uh -huh. Who has who cares a baby over nine months? Okay, hold on. Go ahead. See how he wishy washy? I don't care about him being wishy washy because I expect that from him. Okay, okay. But if you are, can you at least this is my part. Mm -hmm. This is when we was talking about the other day, Wendy, when I said somebody could be a friend, even if they're Trumpster, but I'll just call them stupid. Mm -hmm. I you people have stupid friends. <laughs> I only tell them so much. Do I, I need I to help? Confine, I don't confine in I'll help walking across, across the street. The street. <laughs> I'll tell them. Do you need help walking across the street? I'll help you. Okay. I'm a friend. <laughs> I know that you are dingbat, so you might need some help. <laughs> now, anybody worth anything uh -huh. that listened to that mm -hmm. and said, and I'm not even a Democrat, mm -hmm. that Democrats want to take a baby at nine months. Yes. And beyond. So the baby gonna be born and then you're gonna take his life. Whoopi had to remind us that that's considered a, a, a felon. That's a crime. When that baby is a certain age, like that black lady that's having the issues with hers, it was a certain uh, age. They're, they're, she's being accused of taking her baby's life. Now, they were saying most doctors. Don't even perform um, abortion after a certain Thank a you. certain time. After so many weeks, yeah. Unless, mm -hmm. unless it's going to take the mom's life. Right. And if it's at nine months, she already gone. Like the mother in Texas, her baby was um, was. I don't know if her baby was still living, but it had an issue. Right, and they would have taken her life if she had it. Yeah, you know? that's that's an extreme case where you're yeah. giving birth. And the doctor has yeah. to make a decision. Yeah. Maybe the baby's hung on something or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But that doesn't happen every day, all day. Mm -hmm. And some moms who have that situation, they don't want to take their baby. They want the baby to live. Or it could be a case where she could be out. Yeah. Maybe she got shot or something. Yeah. or And that decide. woman is out. And the baby, I don't know, whatever it is. It's, it's not scenarios. Yeah. So for him to make that statement, he's a bonehead. Yeah. And for people to agree with the statement, you're, I'd, I'll help you walk across the street. Because you stupid. <laughs> now, <laughs> he switched his position. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you who's hog tied and mad. Who? Who? Mike Pence. What Mike saying? Hold on, let me do this. Mike got the nerve to be mad. They was getting ready to. Let me tell you something. They were getting ready to hang him. <laughs> well, that's how I'm getting ready to say. <laughs> now, I sat there in that dang on White House. Yes, in the, in the 
Senate room in Congress. And I let you push me to the side. Yes, yes, yes. Every time I tried to say something. Yes, yes. You moved me out the way. Yes, because you didn't. You didn't matter. You had special meetings. Yep. Without you didn't you. invite me. Yes. <laughs> you read reports. Uh-huh. Didn't even send them to me. Yeah, tried to take his life too much. <laughs> I went home and I cried every night. <laughs> said, mother. 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 <laughs> and I said, mother, I got to do four years with this devil. Yes, yes. And she said, hold on, Mike. Mm -hmm. God knows he's what you're going you. through. Pray. And he's got you. Yes. You'll be okay. Now, I went four years. <laughs> I was out. The American people saw fit and didn't vote for you. Yes, yes. But then you said that that was a lie. Uh -huh. The big lie. <laughs> and that people all over the world, I mean, all over the country, yes. saw what these people was doing at these polls. Mm -hmm. Those two Negro women that was sitting up there smoking crack and throwing stuff, <laughs> uh, ballots and everything. <laughs> I listened in the room with you and Mary, uh, Giuliani. Yes. I missed supper with mother, mother. for many nights <laughs> because I had to sit and listen to you talk about how the election was stolen. <laughs> And even asking you to do, take part of it. Then you called me on the phone. You called me in and you told me I got a scam. Yes. You got to be a part of it. And if you don't do this, Mike Pence, you are a criminal and you are an abomination <laughs> to not only your God, but mine. <laughs> You're not loyal. I sat there and I listened. Yep, yep. I didn't say a word. Uh -huh. They brought me on all kind of talk shows, Fox News everywhere. <laughs> I supported you. Uh -huh. I said, well, if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. Uh -huh. <laughs> then January 6th came, and uh -huh. then you told a bunch of people uh -huh. to go and kick in the doors of the Capitol oh, my life. where we were trying to have a meeting. My life was in danger. <laughs> they had signs that said, hang Mike Pence. Oh. And they had things with the guillotines, and uh -huh. they came in yelling, hang Mike Pence. Oh, God, I had to run. Now, my family was there because this was a special opportunity for me to look great. <laughs> they had to usher us out underneath the, white, the Capitol building, under the White House, through a tunnel. <laughs> they had to, we had to crawl out. Me and mother. And mother. <laughs> <laughs> now we went underneath ground just like that show uh with what's her name that black lady what's her name terry uh carrie fisher oh uh, Hill, what's her name uh -huh. uh, uh we scandal scandal okay. we went under the white house and we crawled out of there and we came up through some hole oh, no. in the back of the white house through the uh the grass to, to, to get away from being we home. got in the car and we drove back to indiana oh lord well i felt safe Oh. I'm still not saying anything uh -huh. when they say they came in to say hang Mike Pence. Uh -huh. I still said they came in. They wasn't really going to hang me. Mm -hmm. People was just overacting. Yeah, yeah. I'm even sitting back calling, to hearing you call them hostages. Yes. Even though I know that they wasn't no hostages, they was coming in there to get me. What did he say, though? But when you say <laughs> that abortion uh -huh has exceptions Ooh. and there might be a national ban and you won't speak out against it mm. that's it that's it this is icing on the cake it says slap in the face mike pence blasts donald trump oh. for saying abortion restrictions should be up to the states because he didn't say that at first He's saying it now. Former President Donald Trump called to let states set their own abortion policy. Now, my aunt, hold on. It's drawing barbs from more than a few conservative Republicans who want a national ban, mm -hmm. including his former vice president, Mike Pence. <clears throat> President Trump's retreat on the right to life is a slap in the face 
to the millions of pro-life Americans who voted for him <laughs> in 2016 and 2020. <laughs> Pence shared on his social media. Oh, Pence is hot. I bet steam was coming out his ears. <laughs> Earlier in the day, the former president announced in a video that we saw that he believes states should choose their own abortion restrictions. Mm -hmm. A long-awaited move as abortion rights have taken center stage in the 2024 election. Trump did not immediately comment on Pence's criticism, but he responded to other Republican critics later in the day by saying that their calls for a national abortion ban will hurt him from winning. Yeah. So he has to get on the, the he has to now change his, his tactics and try to keep, maintain, you know, his, his being ahead. And Senator Graham says, all oh, the Democrats are sitting back loving this. Mm -hmm. They want to keep it going for as long as Republicans will allow them to do it. Let's milk it. Mm -hmm. That's what Lindsey Graham is saying. Yes. That right there is the only time you have ever heard Mike Pence say anything yeah. against yeah. Donald Trump. Because he's been holding it. Hold he it. had it real good. Because he actually is a pro-lifer. And it's nothing wrong with that. But he is what he is. And he doesn't switch depending on whether he's going to win or not. We told you, if you go back and look uh, way back in our videos, Trump, everybody who knows him in real life says he is not a pro-lifer. He never was. Mm -hmm. So this is an issue he doesn't really care about. No, he doesn't. Whatever one wins him into the White House is going to be the way he is going to He's go. He's a hustler. He's a hustler. He gets, he, he goes whatever the way, the, he get the most people to support him. He'll hold a Bible up. He'll do this. He'll tap dance. When Pence him. holds a Bible up, he means it. Yes, yes. Whether I win or not, this is how I run my life. Yes, yes. If I say I'm pro-life, I'm pro-life. Yeah. I don't go by the way the wind is changing. That's what he's saying. Thank you. This guy's going with whatever the wind is blowing. Yes. But people, like you're saying, they still following him wherever the wind blows them. Now, Nikki. They'll blow with them. Nick, I was going to say Nikki Minaj. Nikki Haley. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki Haley is the same way. She'll go with whatever the wind is blowing. Yeah. But she told you that. You don't care about yeah. She told you that. Yeah, she, she said, I am a person, I'm pro-life, mm -hmm. but I have to look at what the American people um think. I I want yeah, I want to be able to meet halfway where we can make everybody at least okay with the decision. So she But is, that's not how she's Trump a ran. pro lifer. She was with like Pence. But she figures people are fighting in this country. If you got to do the, the pro-life, do it, do exceptions. And then that's taking you, like you're saying, out of those two Thank categories. Because you. now you're pro-life with the exceptions in place. All right. He told on himself. This is what Justice is saying mm -hmm. at the end. He said they have to do anything to win. That's why he's flip-flopping now. That's, that's, he's the Republican nominee. That's their Republican nominee. That's who they picked. He's a flip-flop. They had six of them. And the last time he ran, they had a good seven and now, eight. Now, if you wanted a pro-lifer with a national abortion ban, you should have voted for DeSantis. DeSantis. Thank you. Yep. So he's, he, he flip-flops, but people okay with that. They'll still justify that he could flip-flop if he want to, if he could change his mind. If people are allowed to change their mind, they'll always find Thank a reason you. to justify him. Um, Katia says, here she, here she goes with the facial expressions on me. <laughs> um, Katia says, Lenora, I love your hoops. Thank you. Your earring. You normally don't wear those, do you? All the time. Mm -hmm. On camera? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, M. Perk says, hi, ladies. Hi, every hey, hi everyone. Hi, hi. I got to fix my notifications. Yes, okay. everybody make sure you fix your notifications. Yeah. All right, so that's the yeah, only just time to show that when it came to abortion, mm -hmm. that's the only time you've ever heard Mike Pence mm -hmm. and mad. I bet he has steam coming out his ears. 
because we don't usually see that side of him. No, he tr he tries so so hard to to tolerate the craziness even in his Christian walk. But I know today he reminds me of that guy on yeah. It's a Wonderful Life. My wife cried all, all night, night long. <laughs> Could you call her stupid or something? Oh my gosh. I can see him saying that. Mother. Mother. She called me in the kitchen and and had me listen to what you said. Yes. She cried all night long. He hurt her feelings. And he was mad about that. So that's good that he actually, I mean, he spoke up and made his comment. All right. Okay. So we'll see where this goes. Okay. Now you always want to know who Charlemagne the God's donkey of yeah, the day is. Of now, did not talk about this. You sure did. Is he calling one of them a, a, a donkey? I'm going to go through this really quick, just for the people that don't know what's going on. Get caught up. You may not listen to neither one of them, but you won't sound stupid when your young we people did talk, talk to you. Talk about this on the Friday show. J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick, and Kendrick Lamar. Lamar. The kids mm -hmm. today are calling them to big three. Okay. Okay, they not saying of all time. They saying right now, if there was a Kobe, a LeBron, and a Michael Jordan. Okay, these are them. Mm -hmm. One is Michael Jordan. One is Kobe. One is LeBron. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now they got a battle out to see who's number one. Okay, if they all were three, were still playing. Okay, these three guys are still rapping. They still in the game. Okay, a lot of um, Drake. Is to me, he sells the most. We went through yeah, this. Yeah, and his name to me is more known. His name is more known. Mm -hmm. um, he sells the most. He mm -hmm. has the most commercial, um, you know, reach. Reach. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are saying he's number one. Right. But if you want to go with who raps the best, then that's when people start going, well, different, mm -hmm. all three of them got they're, different words. Different opinions, yeah. I happen to say Kendrick because you know I love Kendrick and I call him my fake husband. Mm -hmm. Some people think J. Cole is better than all three of them mm. with his wordplay and the way he puts his words together okay. and all of that. Okay. He's a better. All of them have been throwing shots at each other since the beginning of time, since they've been rapping. I'm number one, you you know, this such and such. They don't say people's name, but you know who they're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Because of, of the way they word it, you know that he talking about J. Cole or okay. he talking about Kendrick, he's talking about Kendrick or they talking about Kendrick mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, how they reference it. More recently, everybody's starting to say, they start to be very blunt with who they talking about. Oh, okay. Like, I remember saying we the said names. the year 2024 is the year of, exp of exposing. exposing. So everybody is kind of coming out saying, look, don't, just say what you mean. Don't, don't hide behind stuff. So Kendrick, well, Drake and, and um, uh, J. Cole had already came after Kendrick. <clears throat> Saying that they the big three or whatever. And then when they had an album to put the big three, they didn't even include Kendrick. That pissed Kendrick off. Mm -hmm. In other words, you gonna, how you going to have an album of a big three or whatever and I'm not in it? And this everybody really knows that too. Yeah. That's like having a game and you don't invite Michael Jordan or something. Thank He'd you. be like, what are you doing? And and J. Cole was on there saying, I'm, num you know, we, I'm number one, whatever. Anybody want to step up to the mic? Go ahead, I'll annihilate you. Mm -hmm. So he talking a bunch of stuff, right? Which leads people to believe he in for the smoke. So Kendrick steps up to the microphone with mm -hmm. this latest. Um, it wasn't even a song. It was just him doing a verse mm -hmm. on Future and them um, song. Future okay. and uh, Metro. Okay. And he was just doing a fire, a warning shot, a firing shot. Like I got a whole thing, but I'm just gonna throw a warning shot at you mm -hmm. to show you that you not y'all ain't nothing. I'm number one, and anybody who want to be number one, y'all know that's rap. That's rap battles. That's from the beginning of time. I'm number one. Who's number one? I'm number one. Okay. Well, J. Cole fires back. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. And I said he was wrong because he said Kendrick was um, outdated. and Your arms and too short to box with God. He was that. making Kendrick seem like he's not even worthy to be on the same court. And I said, is he calling himself God? And I said, to box with them. I don't mind you coming back at Kendrick. At least tell the truth, though. Mm -hmm. Don't just come back and say anything just so you can put something on the record. Well, J. Cole is a spiritual guy. Mm. And apparently God didn't let him sleep. Really? He, he said, I couldn't sleep for two days uh -oh. when I put that out. Wow. He said, um, 
I don't, I feel, I feel bad. Mm -hmm. My soul wasn't right. Mm. My mind. You don't hear On too stage, many rappers you've say never, that. Nor, I don't never hear no rapper say that. Nobody has ever said that. Take back what they. You don't say that. I've been rap. praying that Nicki Minaj does it. So with, he um, says, I, he Stallion. said, I like to apologize. Mm -hmm. He said Kendrick is the one of the best rap who's ever done it. Mm. And he said, my heart, my spirit wasn't even in it when I did it, which I told you it wasn't when he did it. And people jumped on the bandwagon and, and was saying, yeah, yeah. He said, my friend, yeah. he said, my friends called me. He said, I had like over a thousand calls. People said, you got to answer Kendrick back. You can't just let Kendrick just dog y'all like that. Yeah. So he did. He answered them back. And now he apologized. Wow. That sent the rap world up in a frenzy. Like what? You don't apologize if you... His spirit not right. He want to get his spirit right. It's not about what other people think. Now, this is where I disagree. What? This is what I could tell you said my face is. My oh, face. Oh, no. If he wasn't on there talking about, I annihilate anybody that steps up to the mic. All of this pre-talk, he's that guy. The one that goes outside and yells up in the apartment complex. Anybody want any smoke? Come on outside. I'm right here. Who is this? J. Cole? J. Cole. Now, if you're going to be that guy who's the Christian guy that loves God, don't go out in the apartment complex yelling up, if anybody wants smoke, come get it. Because when the one guy comes down to punch you in the nose, don't be like, I'm sorry, man. I I'm sorry. That. I should have said that. My spirit was wrong. But you know how good Kendrick is? This is why he's my man. <laughs> In a previous record that has nothing to do with this, Kendrick talks about guys always calling people out. And then when somebody shows up, they say, I'm sorry. Now, of course, they're going back in history and pulling Kendrick's old music. He foresaw this. <laughs> Don't be that guy oh yelling God. up at the window and people in the apartment complex saying, if you won't smoke, come get me. And then when a guy, a big wrestling guy comes downstairs ready to put you in a headlock, don't say, I'm sorry, man. I was just joking. <laughs> now, there are a lot of people like that, though. There are a lot of people that wolf and, cr and bark and bark. I don't mind. And then when the person come at them, they like, I was just kidding. <laughs> I don't mind J. Cole saying that. Okay? Now, Charlemagne the God gave all of us the donkey. Oh, for jumping on the J. Cole wagon? For talking up down on him for apologizing. Oh. He's saying what kind of what you saying. If, if he feels it's not in his spirit and he doesn't want to do it, a real man stands up and says, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I, this is, I'll let this be between you and Drake. Yeah, I'll stay out of yeah, it. Yeah. I'm not, you can talk about me. That's what J. Cole said. He said, you can come back. You can hit me. You can knock me down. Knock me down. He said, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm out of it. Mm -hmm. He said, my soul ain't right. This not me. This mm -hmm. not, and what, what going in the, the, the uh, what you call it, projects, yelling up at the people, telling them to come down and get but, you. But here's the thing. So, I know. He, if, I'm not mad at him. At that moment, he was eating. He, he was uh, bullied. I got to get out. No, no. He was bullied because oh. he got thousands of calls and people said, I know you ain't going to let him talk to you like that. And he was bullied. And he didn't do it on the on the, on the the whim that he wanted to. Yeah. He said, I didn't even feel nothing when when Kendrick came out and said it. Mm -hmm. He said, I didn't even. He let them put a battery in his back. Mm -hmm. And he came out there and did that. He did one of those. You going to let him talk to you like exactly. that? Exactly. You going to let him talk to you like that? And then so, you're like, no. But you like this, but you still do it. But I don't have a problem with J. Cole. I like J. Cole. Mm -hmm. He's a spiritual brother and everything. They tell me he need to go sing Christian rap and everything. All these guys is on him now. Get out of here. So you're his, not a rapper. So his rap is messed up. For that. But his fans are still like him. Okay. Because his fans like the type of rap that he does. Okay. So that's my thing. Did, did, I don't did, have did a problem Kendrick with you. Come a, back? Well, this is what this is the this is where we are now. I don't have a problem with J. Cole apologizing or whatever. Just don't be in the yard yelling up, telling somebody that I don't want to hear that on any more records. That you number one. I anybody want to step to the mind? No, he, I don't think he is. Cause, think? No. Cause after this, he can't never say he's that. He's been known for that doing that anyway, right? Well, no, he's been doing it. Oh. 
Maybe he's changing. Maybe well, he's that's changing. what I'm saying. Okay. So maybe he felt convicted. The Holy Spirit is like, I don't want you going in this direction. Because he right. said that. He said, hopefully God, uh, he, he brought it up. God, in other words, he was saying, hopefully God will forgive me and put me back on the path that the he moment, wants me the in. The moment you told me that they were all doing that on the Friday show when you were introducing me to this whole beef thing, for some reason, I went right to Tupac. And Biggie. Well, they need to make it not go and, off. Yeah. Or Nicki Minaj and and, yeah, and, make and Cardi B. I don't like that. Or Megan Thee Stallion. And the and Megan Thee Stallion. I don't like when they do that because the fans get involved. Well, that's and they can hurt. But as long us. as it's wordplay, that's fine. But the Tupac thing, we're still healing from that. Yes. So this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going to happen. Future and Metro are getting ready to put out another album. Next week, I think. Is Kendrick going to be on there again? Is he going to come back and still, even though J. Cole, he's the guy in the yard that said, I'm sorry, I'm just joking, man. Is he still going to choke him out? <laughs> but he said you can if you want to. I'm saying, is he going to? Kendrick can literally come back and say how you're saying what he's doing. Is he going to be he the guy? Him out for that. Is he going to be the guy that comes out of the projects? Mm -hmm. And chokes the guy out, even though he says, "I'm choking, I'm choking." Like, as I'm, as I'm, I'm, as I'm choking you out, don't you better learn not to do this. No exactly. Moment. You know, did you learn your lesson? You didn't learn your lesson. Okay, hey, I'm coming at you. Is Kendrick going to put another song on um, Future's thing? But is it going to be directly to Drake? We'll see. Is he going to leave J Cole alone mm -hmm. and just go at Drake and just do Drake? Is Drake going to come back? Everybody's waiting on Drake. Drake is a killer too. Drake don't seem like he would apologize. Absolutely not. He seems Drake like is he, mean. Very, yeah, very, very. Um, Drake is so mean when him and Pusha T was going at it. Pusha T really got him, though. Did you he? got a son that you don't even claim. Mm -hmm. He had to come out and talk about his son after that, Adonis. Mm -hmm. Drake is so mean. I wouldn't see Drake doing this. But then, like you said, J. Cole could have a, a spiritual moment where... You know what, dude? I can't go down that road now. I but was they bullied said, to do that, and I didn't really think. They said Drake made a mistake with Pusher T, and he's not going to do that with um, Kendrick. Oh. You don't want to show your hand too soon. So, again, the, the, the donkeys are the people. He, Charlemagne the guy said, all of us are the donkeys. For, if you laughed at J. Cole for, oh, for apologizing. Oh, then I, I'm not a donkey then. I'm, I'm a donkey. donkey. Because I said he shouldn't have been in the projects yelling up, telling everybody to come down. I was happy that it, I, the thing, when you put this on Facebook, I had, my reply was, see, you guys, don't be jumping on bandwagons when you don't know sometimes the person that what they're saying, they can take it back or apologize for it. And you look stupid because you on a bandwagon that's not even moving. So, so. even though I know half of y'all, our audience don't look at none of this, mm -hmm. this is what's going on. So y'all know if y'all see y'all kids talking about it or your grandkids mm -hmm. yeah. or you see it on the news. Drake. Or it's Drake, J. Paul, and Kendrick Lamar. Okay. If you hear rappers going off or Tyrese always got to say something. He came in and said something in the shade room. That's a real man, J. Cole. I stand behind you. Okay. He stand behind everybody. He stood behind Diddy. You know I stand behind you, Diddy. Whatever you And they said now Diddy's son is in trouble. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And you know what? A lot of people are not surprised it's something because if with, his son sees that but environment. But it's something they said with that attorney. That's you not think? Yeah, that's not kosher. Oh, we will see. But yeah. we're not surprised if your son yeah. is picking the same behaviors as the. All right, we'll move. We'll finish here. Okay. We won't even do the what you call it, the funny. Okay. Don't forget to get our book, One Hundred um, Family Friendly Jokes. Mm -hmm. The link is in the description, and the uh, book is on Amazon. Amazon. Yes. All yes. right, y'all. Lenore, you want to take us out? Okay. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this Monday to start a new week, oh God. We thank you for being able to be up and just um, see a new day. It's so, such a blessing, and we're just grateful that you have the we have the activities of our limbs, oh God, and just continue to give you glory. You were glorified even in the eclipse. We're just grateful to see your magnificent work. When you created this earth, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof of the world and they that dwell therein. We know that we're in your hands, oh God, just seeing that moon move and, the, and we're all just being safe on this earth, oh God. I just give you glory and honor for your, your wonder, wondrous works, oh God, and just being God. Um, we're just praying over this, the different uh, stories that we've um, brought up. We pray over the, Kim brought us up to speed as far as the whole 
the, the, the mm-hmm. three rappers, oh God, some of us may not have a clue who they are, but we just pray that if a, if the situation that J. Cole actually experienced, oh God, I pray that all the rappers experienced mm-hmm. you like that, where they quit uh, beefing with each other, including the female um, artists, oh God, Nicki Minaj and, 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 and Cardi B, all of these these entertainers, these artists, oh God, that we don't have a Tupac and a Biggie Smalls situation happen where people get ugly, they take it personal, and then they'll come at you and then your life is in danger. So we just pray a spirit of adoption over all of these artists, oh God, that we've brought up today, including Terrence. I know he's getting a lot of beef, oh God, we laugh, we laugh, yes. But dude, we need to know what you're doing and so we can take you serious. And we just pray for the situations that he's bringing up with the Black actors and Black artists. I know Wendy's an artist and I know a lot of them are not getting their money's worth. They're not getting paid the levels that they should be getting paid in comparison to their counterparts of their white actors that they're um, acting along with, Father. So we pray for fairness in that field, oh God, that anything that's not right, that's not done right secretly with the agents and all of that whole environment, oh God, we pray favor over these black artists because they work hard with their sk- their, their um, craft and their skills, oh God. And we just pray that situation would be at better better updates and more positive influences, oh God. And we thank you for the the, the women's basketball team, Lord, the, the, the Caitlins that are bringing awareness to watching these games. They said that was the, the, the most watched um, it play of uh, basketball tournament, Father God, compared to other things that's going on. And we just give you glory and honor for those opportunities to see anybody, whatever color, whatever ethnicity, with their gifts, that we be proud of them. And be and under, understand, oh God, that you're no respecter of persons, and we need to stop being like that and being specific on what color a person should be to get the favor or whatever is done right. And we just continue to pray over the situation with um, the mayor of Dalton and whether um, <coughs> Mayor uh, Lightfoot, former Mayor Lightfoot, is involved or not, or, or or anyone else that's involved. Oh God, we pray improve or remove in Jesus name. And I thank you for all those people, uh, families that are represented in this chat room, oh God. Continue blessings over each and every one of them, oh God. And we give you glory and honor in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right. right. Um, Cotillia says, I pray that God put everything back in alignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you. He will. Okay. All right, y'all. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Always Always believe. believe. And that was another Another Woods Report. Report. See you later. All right. See you later, TikTok.